Hey, welcome to Diversity in Cinema Academy. I'm Theta Catalan, and this is the place to be if you're an indie filmmaker, video creator, and screenwriter. So all this month, I have been dropping filmmaking tips. I will be dropping 24 filmmaking tips till Christmas. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about cinematography, which is <laughs> the visual that you get after the director has came up with his vision. So obviously this is like a very important department because they also handle the grips and electrics, which is responsible for giving us great lighting, right? So that is why I'm really excited about this one. And I know you've probably been waiting on this one as well. So one of the things that the director do when they create their vision, they sit down with the cinematographer and they basically create a shot list of all of the things that they want um, for each scene, like basically all of the shots that they want for each scene. And so that can be a close up. So, so for instance, if you hang a bulb on a tree, The director may want to zoom in on this. Maybe it is something special about this bulb, right? Let me find something cooler. Maybe it has something meaningful to it. So say for instance, I have these initials. Maybe these are significant for some reason with the story, right? And so the director may want to zoom in on these initials and later in the story, because we're foreshadowing, maybe later in the story, we'll learn why this initial is so significant to the character. And so that is the purpose of cinematography. It's also very psychological. Right. So, you know, if you zoom in on something, it's like, why are you zooming in on it? Like, what are you trying to tell, you know, the audience? You know, if you pull away from the character, like, are you are they feeling isolated? Are they starting to feel alone? If you slowly push in on them while they're doing a monologue, like what's important in that speech that you want to tell them? Right. If you're panning, like maybe somebody is walking and talking and you just you want to be alone the sides it's like you're just following that person because you're like watching them instead of actually like if you're walking and talking with them you know with a um, steady cam you know like you're just a part of that conversation so all of those different camera movements mean something and that's why it's important to study you know uh, cinematography and understanding what all those different angles mean and all those different shots mean because it has an impact on the storytelling on the psychological you know um, impact of the audience so that is just something to think about so you got what we got close-ups we got extreme close-ups we have, you know, um, medium shots. You can tilt, you can do drone shots. You know, typically drone shots, you're trying to get like big aerial shots. So what are you saying with that? Um, you also have um, crane shots, you have um, Russian arms. So like if you're in a car and you're trying to capture, you know, the car movement, you wanna see the wheels, you wanna see all that different stuff. So that is what cinematography is doing for you. And that's why it's important to do a shot list before you even begin shooting. Because if you wait to start trying to figure out a lot of this stuff when you're shooting, you're going to waste a lot of time on set and you may forget some shots. You're going to always get the basic shots. Like you're going to get uh, the close up, you're gonna probably get a medium shot, you're gonna probably get an over the shoulder shot. You are more than like if it's two people, you'll get the two shot. So, those are natural. So, you can just boom, boom. That's like every single day, you may have those shots. But all of those specialty shots, you need to figure that out beforehand. Now, don't get me wrong, because some people are like, oh, you're just taking out all of the creativity. No there will be some spontaneous shot because you may be in a location that you didn't even realize like, oh, like you Lord, let's, let's stand behind these um, railings and shoot between the railings and all that kind of stuff. So some stuff will be spontaneous, but just no going in 
all the different shots that you want. And another thing about that, understanding what kind of shots you want is because the cinematographer will discuss with the line producer like, hey, I need all these different shots in order to make this happen. These, This is the type of gear that I need. This is the type of camera that I need. Then the line producer can put that in the budget. And if you can't afford it, then the line producer can say, hey, this is a little bit too much. We can't afford a Russian arm. So what kind of creative shots that you can come up with where you don't necessarily need a Russian arm in order to get what you're trying to accomplish or you just won't be able to get it. So let's think of something else. All right. So anyway, so those are my quick tips on uh, cinematography. So stay tuned for tomorrow because we're going to be discussing locations. All right. So I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, thanks for tuning in to my 24 filmmaking tips till Christmas. If you are enjoying this series, be sure to visit Diversity and Cinema Academy's website where they have a ton of resources there. If you're interested in leveling up your film business, you can check out my online course.